How to Motivate Yourself to Do Something Difficult. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me tell you how. Okay, in this video I wanna share with you an acronym, CASE, C-A-C-E. And I'm gonna give you an example and a story of something difficult that happened to me yesterday where I had to use CASE to get my booty going to get motivated to do something difficult. Here it is. So, first, communicate. Secondly, approach. Third, commit. Fourth, engage. So let's break it down. Okay, so this is a true story. I recorded a holiday program and I recorded it last week. Before it started, I recorded the entire thing. So I get an email yesterday that says the audio is off in the entire program. And actually, I think the last video on this channel, the audio was off because something happened with my microphone and hopefully it's okay today. But what happened was I had to re-record that entire program. So of course, when you get an email that your program screwed up, I had this little feeling of panic and overwhelm. So when you feel panicked and overwhelmed, it means your brain is kicking it into high gear of stress and anxiety when then it's slowing itself down simultaneously due to overwhelm. And what that feeling makes you want to do is escape. And I literally had the thought, which is awful because I don't usually go this way. So you know that it's the holidays, right? I literally had the thought I should just go Christmas shopping. I haven't started my Christmas shopping. This is a perfect time to do it. But of course, that is escaping into spending, which is dopamine producing and can become a compulsion, which is not a normal thing for me. But I stopped myself and I said, OK, I have to fix this program. First of all, I'm going to email all the people in the program. I communicated to them that there was an issue and I am on it. I will fix it. Communication. So now that I've communicated that to the world, I'm also committed to it, which is going to be the next step after engaging. So I communicated it and then I moved toward the solution. Instead of moving away from it and escaping, I moved towards it. So I typically make videos using my computer and my seemingly good microphone and, you know, the setup. Instead, I made the videos on my phone by my Christmas tree since it is a holiday program because I could do it easily. I could get them uploaded. So even though it was a different format, I'm like, okay, how can I engage with this thing quickly and efficiently and get it done? Engage, move toward it in a way that felt good to me to move to solution that is easy as possible. So in doing so, I committed to the process. So I've thus far actually only made six of the videos. I need to make the rest of them because, you know, it was... I didn't have any time. I only had a few minutes actually until I had to go into appointments for the day yesterday. So I still have to make the rest of the videos, but I've committed to the process of getting the videos done in that way. And what that does is it makes it so that I am completely engaged in the process of solution and resolution. I've approached and engaged, I've communicated and I've committed and then I can accept it and move forward. Very, very important. So it's not about necessarily willpower and it's not even about being motivated. It's about doing what I needed to do in that moment instead of running away from it. So ultimately at the end of the day, I can feel so much better about having created the solution and not escaped away from it. So I want you to try that out the next time where you feel like you want to escape into the screen or you want to go shopping or you just want to hide under the covers because something needs you to approach and engage with it. Use that acronym. Communicate it to someone who needs to know. Approach it. Commit to it and engage in it so that you can move on and lay your head down at the end of the day knowing that you've moved toward it and not away. I hope it helps you out. Uh, if you're looking for help on that journey, jump on over to my website at drtrishlee.com. I have a new program, Control Your Brain, which can teach you more strategies to be able to get and stay motivated and live a brain healthy lifestyle. And until I see you next time, control your brain or it'll control you.